the question says if the tangent at 1 comma 7 to the curve x square minus y equal to 6 touches the circle x squared plus y squared plus 16x plus 12y plus c equal to 0 then the value of c is dash let us see how do we solve this question the very first thing we will do is find out the equation of this particular tangent now the uh, the line is a tangent to the given curve which is x squared minus y equal to 6. To find out equation of any line, we will need two things, the slope of the line and a point through which the line is passing. We already have the point, we will have to find out the slope. Now because line is a tangent to the curve, to find the slope, we can simply find out the derivative of the given curve. So the given curve is x squared minus y equal to 6 and I can write this as y equal to x square minus 6. Now we know that derivative dy by dx in this case will be nothing but 2x. Now I want to find out the value of uh, the slope of the line and that will be derivative value at the given point at which the line is the tangent. So line is tangent at 1 comma 7 where the value of x is equal to 1. So you can see that I will get the value of uh, dy by dx which will become slope of the tangent so I can write slope of tangent line slope of tangent line will be nothing but dy by dx at uh, x equal to 1 and y equal to 7 but that's not required because dy by dx is just 2 x so 2 into 1 will be equal to 2 so I've got the slope of uh, the line so let me call it m and m is equal to 2 so now let us find out the equation of the tangent line. Uh, so I've got slope, I've got a point also. So equation of tangent. This will be nothing but y minus y1 which is nothing but 7 upon x minus x1 which is nothing but 1 uh, is equal to slope of the line which is nothing but 2. So this will further give me y minus 7 equal to 2x minus 2 and this gives me y equal to 2x uh, minus 7 comes here minus 2 plus 7 will be plus 5. This is the equation of the line which is tangent to the given curve. Now the question further says that this line will touch the circle. So uh, that means if I talk about the points of intersection of line and the circle. So point of intersection. To find the points of intersection, we will put the equation of the line in the equation of the circle. So let's do it. Equation of the circle is x square plus y square, but y will be replaced with the equation of the line, which is 2x plus 5 square plus 16x plus 12y. 12y is again equal to 2x plus 5 plus c and this is equal to 0. Let us simplify this equation, we get x squared plus, this will be nothing but 4x squared plus, uh, 5 to the 10 to the 20x plus, 5 squared will be 25, plus 16x plus 24x plus 60 plus c equal to 0. Now let us combine all the x squared terms, there is one term here, one term here, this gives me 5x squared. Then we will combine all the x terms, so we have already combined x squared terms, now this is 20 plus 16 is 36 plus 24 will be 60 so this gives me 60x and finally all the constants together so 25 plus 60 will be nothing but 85 plus unknown value c now this is equal to 0 you can see it's a quadratic equation which should ideally give us two values of x but that will happen only if li line uh, intersect circle in two points but right now the question says line touches the circle which means there is only one point of intersection so only one point of intersection and for that purpose uh, the discriminant of this quadratic equation must be zero which means this equation must have only one root so it will have only one root uh, if uh, the value of d is zero which means b square minus 4ac is zero b square is nothing but 60 square minus 4a a is 5 and the value of c is 85 plus c equal to 0. Now let us solve this particular uh, equation. So we get 60 square and that is equal to 4 into 5 into 85 plus c. So you can see that few cancellations will take place. 
So we know that 12 fives are 60 and 4 threes are 12. So this will further give me 16 to 3 that is 180 equal to here we have 85 plus C. So therefore the value of C is nothing but 180 minus 85 which is equal to 95. So this is the answer for the question and 95 is nothing but option number 2. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.